high. It's me against with Krill and all tips and tricks, and I just can't stop. While I was sitting here waiting for that other video to load, I kind of played around with this and, and thought I'd show you how to do this. I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and move that out of the way. I like working with stuff even, so I'm going to take this Smart Fill and rotate it a negative 60 degrees, which would be the halfway the way it is. Now let's left click, right click, and you see we have a little bit of a contoured line there. So I'm going to take, and you know what? For this thing, it would be easier if I put it back to zero, standing up like this. Take the three-point curve line and, and mimic that line as close as you can. You can always zoom in, grab your shape tool, move that guy, and you can mimic it pretty good. Now we're going to set our nudge distance on 0.1 and we're actually going to make this line a little longer. So we'll go 105%. What that did, it made it stick out both ends, but we still have a nudge factor of 0.1. So I'm going to control D and move down the arrow key, control D, control D. And what that longer line did is make sure I won't have any leaks. And we're going to go to about right there. And this is where you know, it takes a little time, but, you know, take your smart fill tool and fill that in. Go to different colors, and I'm not going to uh, worry about my artistic ability and colors or color schemes. Um, I'm going to just pick some colors and just kind of show you how easy this is to, well, that's a, not a very pretty green for this, but that'll work. Just show you how easy it is to flip. And, and use some of the tools that we used just last time on the first video of this part. Uh, we'll throw in another yellow there. You know, this is where your creative artistic ability will play in. But it's pretty fun and easy, and you might learn a few tools here or there. Um, and you could do more lines or less lines. It doesn't really matter. But this is pretty cool. We'll do one more in this light green. Now, if we take it, select it all, and we rotate it, that's 60 degrees now. Well, 120 degrees. To get it equal, because that's what I want to do when I flip it. And we, we don't have to group it, but you can select it. And then mirror it but we need to control D and make a duplicate and then mirror it. Now our colors are equal. Now we can smart fill this in with something other than that green, I guess. Let's do a yellow and get the interactive fill tool just to make it a little fun and put it up there and maybe add a little red to that spot. Sometimes it does that. I'm gonna call that good. You can play around with it forever. Now, if I take this outside line, and I can just, well, I deleted the color. I'm going to try to grab the outside line. There we go, and move it down. Even though I don't have my nudge distance good, uh, I can always nudge stuff back. Now, I'm going to select it all, and I'm going to right-click no line. And what's going to happen, remember the lines that we made longer? We don't want those lines. We don't want any lines. We just want color, so I'm going to left click. And then you can bring this back in, but we're going to do just like we did before in the video. We're going to grab a contour, go to effects and contour, contour to the outside, point one. Break the, con you don't really have to break the contour apart, but it's probably a good idea. Then you could move them both over there. You can watch that happen. There we go. Now we can group this together, control G, control D and make a duplicate and rotate it that 120 degrees. One thing I didn't do, we need to double click on the rotation and put it there and then rotate it 120 degrees, 120 degrees by just control D. Take it over here, select it all and right click no outline. And you've got a fun design and it will do just like in the video before. Uh, you know, we started out well. Let's just do a circle. 
holding down the control key to make it perfect. Then when you click on this, it should snap right to the center. And then let's see what happens if we take the Smart Fill tool and fill this in. Let's do it with something other than, uh, we don't really want, let's do brown. Pretty cool design, a lot of fun. Everything's equal, everything's perfect. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.